next tonight. A couple who believe they've been the victims of a miscarriage of justice. Their four-day-old daughter was taken into care after social workers discovered that there had been a previous unproven claim of abuse against her father. Uh, we'll call him Stephen as his identity has to be protected, but Stephen has always claimed that he did nothing wrong. But when he became a father again, social services stepped in, they removed his baby daughter, put her up for adoption, and he and his wife have been fighting ever since. Ronke Phillips went to hear their heartbreaking story. I just want to tell her that I love her. I want a hug. I want to bring him up the fight. The emotional anguish of a mother who's been told she'll never see her daughter again. Seen here as a toddler, Emily was taken from the couple by social workers when she was just four days old. They claim she was at risk because of an unproven allegation her father, Stephen, had violently shaken a child from a previous marriage six years earlier. Stephen was interviewed by police at the time, but he never faced a criminal charge, and he's been allowed access to the boy, who's now 10 and suffers from cerebral palsy ever since. And I still see him, like, if, if all the time, every weekend. So he was never taken off you? No. Nope. And you were never denied access? No. Nope. You're guilty or you're not guilty. It's just, I just don't know because nobody says I'm one or the other. I mean, the latest court would say I'm not guilty, but I'm, they're still taking my daughter away. I don't understand. It was only after Stephen remarried and Emily was born four years later that social workers reappeared in his life. The non-accidental injury allegation was still on his file and this gave them the power to remove Emily from the family home. They just literally ripped past my mother-in-law and took her. But she was in a Moses basket asleep. And I tried stopping them but they just took her. For the first two years after Emily was taken away, the couple were allowed access. This video footage was taken in July 2006. Then out of the blue, they were told their daughter had been put up for adoption. Soon after, they came across an advert featuring Emily in a magazine. On the third page in, there's a little section with adoption. And that halfway down, there was a picture of our daughter. And we recognised the dress that she was wearing. In a desperate bid to beat the system, they took Enfield Council to the Court of Appeal to ask for the adoption to be delayed while their case was heard by the European Court of Human Rights. But they were refused. We're still not prepared to accept that she's going to be adopted. We, we, we will fight right until right until there's no more fight left in us. I'm not, I'm not going to give up without a fight. The couple say their anguish is intensified every time they see details of a child who has suffered because social workers have not intervened. These children, Baby P, um, this, this Victoria Columbia, etc., all these children, well, they should be protecting children. They're being given back to their parents to be abused. It just makes me angry. Like Enfield people. Council is standing it's by its really decision. In a statement, it says our actions are never taken lightly when a child is taken into care. Our main concern is and always will be the safety of a child at risk. But Emily's parents deny their daughter is at any risk from them, and they vow to continue their battle until they have her back. Ronke Phillips, London Tonight.